Hi everybody, we are back here at Clove Technology and today we are bringing you something ever so slightly different because Palmer back, yes really, and with this tiny tiny thing here. Now this was actually first made to be like a companion to your main device, but does actually come now as a standalone device. But is something this small really workable? Well, let's first have a look at what you get in the box. So opening this thing up, you can really see just how small this device is, as we have here. Taking it out, it really is minuscule. I mean, I have absolutely tiny hands, so I'm probably not doing this justice, but this is absolutely tiny. But despite the size, it is actually very attractive. And many have said it's very reminiscent of an iPhone, which I can't actually disagree with seeing it. But we'll discuss more on that later. Going further, you have a couple of books in here. You've got your product safety guide, as we have here, and your quick start guide. Now, unfortunately, I don't speak German, so I'm not entirely sure what that says. But there are some nice pictures of Steph Curry, which seems like one of the stranger collaborations that I've seen of phones. You then have your USB Type-C cable, as we have here. Your SIM card ejector tool, as we have here. And your wall adapter. So, all in all, pretty similar to what you get with most devices. Being such an incredibly small device, Palm has marketed this as the ideal smartphone for those looking to detach from their main device or for those with more active lifestyles. The Palm itself is actually about the size of a credit card and is probably even small enough to slide into a wallet. Indeed, at 3.8 inches tall and 2 inches wide, or 50.6 times 96.6 times 7.4 millimetres, and weighing just 62.5 grams, it's probably quite easy to misplace. Actually using the device, the display is significantly better quality than I was ever imagining, as the 3.3 inch LCD panel has a pixel density of 445, giving pretty impressive contrast and great colours. It also delivers 398 nits of peak brightness, so it has been very much usable on the odd sunny day here in the UK. Further display specs include a pixel resolution of 1280 x 720, a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and overall 61% screen to body ratio. Now as I touched upon before, it has been commented on how similar the palm looks to an iPhone, but I really like it. The frame is made from crafted billet aluminium and it actually feels pretty sturdy as well as being sleek. There isn't any room for anything but the power button and charging port and the silver trim is very smart, particularly around the camera. Just a single lens adorns the rear of the Palm phone, a 12 megapixel sensor with autofocus and LED flash. Photos are probably about what you'd expect from this kind of device. Colour reproduction isn't half bad, but you're definitely losing the crispness that you're all but guaranteed with a flagship. You can also probably imagine that viewing back your pictures on the palm isn't the best experience. Video recording whilst on the move is passable, with the palm recording video at 720p at 30 frames per second. There is also an 8 megapixel selfie camera that takes some respectable selfies and enables an impressively quick face unlock. As an Android device, you get a number of customization options, including setting up folders and moving icons in your home screen around to suit your preferences. Google Assistant is accessed by double pressing the side button, whilst Google Play Store allows you to install just about any Android app that you can think of. Indeed, the Palm actually runs Android 8.1. However, several changes have needed to be made to make it work better on this smaller screen. Qualcomm's 435 processor is also included, as well as 32GB of internal storage and 3GB of RAM. Now, apps do load a little slower than your standard device, but the Palm is never going to be the phone for you if you regularly use power-intensive apps or games. The battery also is only 800mAh, which does run down pretty quickly, but Palm claim that you can reach a 50% charge at 31 minutes and then 100% at 68 minutes. 
Alongside this, the Palm device has an IP68 certification for dust and water resistance, with standing depths of 1 metre for up to 30 minutes, so it's as rugged as it is elegant. Plus, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 helps to protect from everyday bumps and bruises. So, weighing it all up for what it's trying to achieve, I actually think the Palm does a pretty good job. It's great to carry when you don't want the full power or distractions of your main smartphone, and would also work well for those that enjoy sports, running, a night out or something like a festival. Now it is probably easier for me to use with small hands, but I didn't face too much difficulty using the device for routine tasks such as text messaging. I mean, will I get a Palm device? Probably not. But would I recommend it to those who want to detach or for those with active lifestyles? Then yes, I probably would. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news and reviews and head to our social media pages for more. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you again soon.